Have you ever heard about Turkey's oil and gas wells in Qatar? Oil and natural gas extraction began in Qatar in 1930s. So, who are the extractors? Brits and Dutch, because Qatar was under British occupation at that time. What share do these states give to Qatar for the oil extracted? Just only 2 rupees per ton. To define the amount of money, in Turkish we have a saying, if you give it to the beggar, he will throw it into your face. So it was that much less amount. Qatar thought that it was not possible to succeed with these 2 rupees to fund its independence. Yes, you're here right. To proclaim its independence and extract oil and gas on its own. Of course, independence means money. Okay, who will they ask for the money from? Of course, from Turkey, which they have historical and religious ties from the grandchildren of the Ottoman. Because they still believe that Turkey will be stronger again and will make Islam beership. Sheikh Ahmed bin Ali, the Qatari Emir declaring independence. He sent a delegation to Turkey, year 1969. Suleyman Demirel was the prime minister at that time. They tried to get an appointment from the prime minister's office. Unfortunately, they just couldn't make it happen. After having been waited two weeks, prime minister of Turkey accepted them to see. Finally, they found the chance of explaining their plan. Qatari delegation offered Demirel to extract this oil natural gas together after having sent the Brits, the Dutch to their country. This part is the story is really important to understand the whole picture because the political conjecture is very suitable where England started to change colonial strategy in the region. The UK thought to limit its presence in the region and began to manage it remotely. What Qatar thinks was to take advantage of this and declare independence of the country. That was the Qatar's plan. The Qatari delegation guaranteed Demiral, the president of Turkey at that time, not to be politically engaged in the situation. However, the delegation offered that they needed financial support to buy and operate new wells after the independence. In exchange of what? To share revenue 50-50. How it sounds? Great, isn't it? You know what was the prime minister's answer? All problem is enough for us. We can't deal. We have no money to waste. Can you believe it? Today, Turkey is dependent on foreign oil 90%. The reason of this addiction is the brave steps not taken in that time. Perhaps Turkey would take place among the leading countries in the world in oil production, for sure. But unfortunately, if there is no vision, courage or ambition, it is not possible to happen. Turkey is a country surrounded by oil producers. But for some reason, the country is totally dependent on foreign oil. Isn't it something we all wonder about? How come they all have it, but we don't have? Here, Berat Albayrak must be obsessed with this issue. The guy who was responsible from the Turkish treasury. At that point, we need to look at the policies developed by Berat Albayrak, the former Minister of Energy. He was constantly thinking about this issue, but at the end, he asked the right question. How come Turkey did not have even one oil exploration ship? If you don't search, you won't find. Full stop. In order to search, first of all, you have to have equipment, technology and the other requirements. It is not possible to find oil or gas by asking for foreign countries to find for Turkey. Even if they find, they won't let you know that there is oil and gas around there. Don't be silly. Anyway, when Albayrak becomes the Minister of Energy, this was his first goal. His dream was that a Turkey which has its own oil exploration ships. And the game starts. Fatih, Yavuz, Kanuni. I am not talking about the Ottoman Sultans. These are the names of the Turkey's oil exploration ships. So, and the biggest oil exploration project in the history of the Republic begins. Drilling everywhere, day or night. So much so that 
Turkey became one of the 10 countries capable of drilling in the deep waters in 1918. Not that much, just only two years later, Fatih drilling ship explored the largest natural gas reserve in the history of the Republic. 320 billion cubic meters. 20 times of what has been discovered in these lands. Sufficient reserves for approximately 6 or 7 years or something like that. Big job. Every step that we do not take out of fear will turn into a nightmare and fall on our children's future. Just as today we pay the price of the steps not taken in 1969.